Hey everybody, this is Nelson Everhart. I am back with another musical tour of The Spiral. As you probably know by now, Novus has launched on the test realm and it seems like people are having fun with it, which is the whole point. So my thought is to look at a couple tracks from Novus while I still remember and can explain what it was that I did on these tracks. So this whole world is kind of a construct of designs. I'm not entirely sure how to say it. And with all the accents in the game, I haven't <laughs> been able to fully get the exact pronunciation, but I believe that's his name, the nothing, the old one, Design. The concept was Design was kind of reimagining the music of other worlds of the spiral, which let us play with some older themes again, um, but trying to put a new spin on it. Puerto Nuevo, uh, New Vicorgia, and La Via Rose were kind of based on the music of Valencia, the music of Marleybone, and the music of Walrusburg. Some of that, you may notice, comes from another game. That was our concept to try and take some of these older tracks, remix them. Design is sort of reimagining this music and kind of putting his own spin on them because this is obviously this, this construct of this world is sort of in his imagination. So here is the whole mix of the Puerto Nuevo theme. I gave it an ending there for you. This required a very different approach than any I've taken before with any of the Wizard 101 stuff. So the first thing I had to do is open up the track that we were gonna remix. And what I did was I went through and chopped it up into pieces, as you can see here. I then went into battery, which is a, normally it's mostly kind of a drum machine, but you can load your own samples into it. So I loaded those samples in here and then I could trigger each sometimes i kind of used a whole bar sometimes i used you know a beat or two that way i could play back the samples in sort of different orders and different configurations as i'm imagining design would didn't remember the tune exactly so he's kind of getting something kind of right but it could be out of order i also filtered these samples to give them kind of a different uh different vibe again sort of more of a hazy memory of the tune than an exact replica and also put some delay and reverb on it to just move it back a little bit so here is is the chops here, the chopped up tune. This was the first tune I'd used as a proof of concept for this approach. And as I sort of played with these samples, I felt kind of like a remix needed some more programmy drums, which is where the... So that's another battery instance using this uh, vinyl kit, which I thought 
complemented the the chops pretty well and it kind of grew out from there i found that the 808 bass it's almost like a pizzicato like an 808 kick drum that's tuned to the particular chords added some shakers The way I composed it was to go through the different sections of the samples that I took from the original tune and kind of see what what different vibes I could get out of them. I'm, I wanted to use as much of the tune as I could, but I also wanted to present it in, in kind of a new order. So you'll see that there are sections that don't have any of the original tune in it in here. This is all new material that I was basing off the original, but I did want to add some new material, but always try to come back to the chops there and use those wherever I could. So kind of doubling that 808 bass was the, the pizzicato strings. Then the chops come in here. I actually got that phrase from the original chops and then doubled it with kind of some new instruments. And I really was following what the tune felt like it wanted to be. At first I was sort of hesitant to take it in that more electronic pop direction, but after a while it was just became clear that that's what this needed to be. And I was still nervous about it. And I do like how it turned out. In adding more electronic stuff, we get some more loops. Yeah, this is a new library I picked up called Rev by Output, which makes some really, really nice libraries. I'm using Signal 2, which is also by Output. Really focused on reverse sound, so was, I was trying to get you know pretty trippy because we're in this surreal world, and so I was really trying to pull in some different sounds and different elements to, to decorate this with. <laughs> The concept of the world as a construct, as something that Dasein was uh, kind of creating in his mind and sort of remixing and, and reshuffling different things around brought me in mind of the, the Matrix, the film. So this part was kind of, I was sort of cribbing a little bit from, from that kind of feel. Uh, Monquista was also part of the, the influence for it. They wanted to have some of the more kind of Latin percussion. <laughs> So I had the shakers and some congas going on in there. Oh, scary. We wanted to have this sort of big sound that's kind of going on in the background that's indicating some of the stuff getting remixed and wrenched around. This is a giant world that's sort of getting pieced together and, and constantly reimagined and, and reconstructed. So that's these sounds are in the background of, I think, all of the remix tunes. And because both Valencia and Monquista have a, a lot of vocals in them, I wanted to put those in too. Uh, and yet another output sound right here. This is from a library called Analog Strings, which is they took recordings of acoustic strings like violins and cellos and everything, and they reimagined those sounds, which is why I thought it would be good to put in here. This next section is a direct quote from the original sampled tune.
Uh, another quote from the original one in here is this piano bit. Sorry, some of the loops are getting a little off there. I said I've never done a whole lot of, you know, synthetic sounds in the Wizard 101 score. And here we kind of started to do that. I purchased the Arturia synthesizer bundle, which has emulations of a whole bunch of different classic synths. So this was a lot of fun for me to go back and kind of fill in some of the, the voids in my uh, synthesizer knowledge. So this is a Oberheim OBX emulator. Dustline is synthesizing this world. I thought this would be a good time to use these emulators. For most of the tracks, I use the arpeggiator patterns to create kind of like a, just a synthesized, you know, threads kind of going everywhere, just sort of creating a framework around the, the harmony. Um, but for this one, I couldn't find an arpeggiator pattern that I liked and... Programming my own is still a little bit outside my skill set, so what I wound up doing is just doing my own arpeggiations. I really enjoyed using all the Arturia stuff, and it's got all kinds of cool toys to play with and a lot of really classic synths what their sounds were that were used on popular tunes this is the emulator of the Fairlight cmi sampler cello two patch here is the one that kate bush apparently used on her Fairlight. So sorry little little side trip in there but that's how much fun it was to play with all these new to me synths even though I was sort of nervous about the direction, this wasn't something that I'd done before. I was really encouraged that everything kind of started coming together on its own. I really feel like I was just sort of following the thread. I started with the chops and that kind of just wanted to go in a direction. So I really just followed that out. One thing you might have noticed down here, it says the finger. So the finger is a plugin for Reactor that's basically a bunch of stomp box effects that get mapped to a MIDI keyboard. So you'll notice that there is some MIDI information down here on that track and it, there's not much of it, but there's some. And these are for the trippy tempo effects that I wanted to apply to most of the overall mix. Maybe not the orchestral instruments, but the electronic instruments. So you'll hear everything playing from back here and then you're gonna hear everything kind of go nuts. <laughs> Right, so that j -j 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 -j, this particular uh, group of effects is called filtered loop soup, which I thought sounded good for what we're doing here. You hear a da -da 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 -da, kind of the stuttering there. So that's kind of a reverse loop effect in there. This is really fun to play with. You gotta use it a little sparingly because it can it can definitely be overused. If you've got any other ideas or any other requests from Novus, let me know. And let, let me know what your favorite tunes from Novus are. I always enjoy hearing kind of what people are, are responding to and we'll try and do more of that in the future. All right, guys, glad you're enjoying Novus. Have a blast and I will talk to you soon. Bye.